today I wanted to talk to you about why I'm switching dog harnesses. But before that, <laughs> I want to thank Emily and Lily for this cute schnauzer planter. Uh, she said she uh, saw my video where I talked about my schnauzer welcome sign. Um, it was broken when I got it, but it got broken a little while back um, when we were walking dogs. Max tipped it over. It wasn't his, you know, he didn't know. And it broke and she said she saw this in a catalog. She said it's not the same thing, but she wanted me to have it. So thank you so much, Emily. I love it. I don't know if I want to put it outside because it's so cute. So I'm thinking about getting um, some type of fake, uh, maybe like succulents or something. I don't know, something maybe I could keep in the house and maybe sit it on my kitchen counter because it's so cute. And I know it's made for outside probably, but I don't want it to get rusted and ruined because I love it so much. So if you guys have any suggestions what I could uh, put in here because I really don't want a real plant because I'm notorious for killing plants. So I'm thinking something fake. I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but it's so cute. <laughs> it's so cute, so thank you, Emily. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for thinking of me. Um, so, harnesses. So, sorry guys, I see something on my table. Um, as you all know, this is the style I've been using, and I hope you guys can see this. Um, I'll do a, a closer up look on the dogs after I talk about it. But I've been using this style that kind of snaps together. Um, you put it over the front legs, it snaps together and it just Velcros. And uh, then you snap that and then you hook the uh, leash to it. Well, these are okay, but they have one flaw. And it's pretty big flaw. If your dog stops suddenly and you go to pull the dog forward, like, come on, Nikki, come on, let's go. If they put their legs forward like this and do this little hunching, kind of like kids do when you go to pick them up and they put their arms straight up so they can slide through. <laughs> if your dogs do that, this will pull right off of them and then they're um, not harnessed in anymore. They're basically free. And this happened a couple days ago. Well, it's been about a week now with um, Magnum. Um, and it hasn't happened before with him. But he stopped suddenly, I kept going, and the harness just came off. And, he, and when I turned around and I looked, he looked at me like, I'm free. <laughs> I can bolt. And I thought for sure with the look he gave me that he was going to bolt. He didn't. I said, Magnum, you stay there. And he, he stayed there. But now, if there would have been a squirrel or a kid riding their bike by or something like that, I, he would have probably took off and he could have been gone or could have got hit by a car anything so this has happened a couple other times with our dogs especially marley he's notorious for sliding out of this harness and i don't know why i don't know why i didn't change harnesses sooner maybe because i didn't want to spend the money probably <laughs> I didn't want to go through the hassle. I thought, oh, I'm just going to be careful. I won't pull on them anymore, but stuff happens, especially, um, it's been about a month and a half now. And I don't think I told you guys the story or, or put it on Facebook, but about a month and a half ago, we were walking the dogs. We were walking Mozzie, Max, and Marley. We were on our second walk around because we take Miggy and Magnum first. So we were on our second walk with them it was dark. We, um, I don't remember stuff, stuff, stuff was going on during the day and we didn't end up walking them till like 11 at night, but we wanted to get their walk in. It was really dark. And, um, on this other side of our house, the road here, our road is out front. And then the road behind us, there's a park, uh, that goes along one side of this road and it, it was completely dark in there. And my husband said, when we got around the corner, we were walking up and my husband said, see that light out there there's a light out there I think somebody's out there on their cell phone and um, because previously on our first walk a cop had stopped they'd like shine their light on us 
and a cop stopped and said, hey, have you seen a, um, white, a white female in a white hoodie walking around? We've got reports that they're, she's breaking and trying to break into cars. And we were like, no, we haven't seen anyone. You know, we told them where we, we the first walk we went on, we hadn't seen anyone. So, of course, on our second walk, we were keeping our eyes out, you know, and that's my husband was looking back there and he saw that light. And I'm like, I wonder if it's that girl, you know. So we were kind of keeping an eye over there. And then all of a sudden, Max, I mean, he went on high alert where those front legs were out and his head was out. And I said, Max sees something. And I thought he just saw whoever was back there that we saw. And all of a sudden, out of the darkness of the park, <laughs> the biggest German Shepherd I've ever seen in my life comes running towards us. I mean, barreling towards us. My husband started yelling. I started blowing my um, air horn that I told you guys I was going to carry. <laughs> and mind you, it's 11 o'clock at night. A guy comes running out of his house screaming, what's going on? <laughs> Thank God he wasn't in his underwear. Because you know how like, men like to be in their underwear when they're relaxed. <laughs> and thank goodness. Sorry, my eyes are watering because I'm, I'm laughing telling this story. <laughs> because it, it was scary at the time. Let me tell you. It was scary. I was terrified. I mean, that German Shepherd was just coming towards us. And I thought, oh my God. Um, so... <laughs> So the German Shepherd, I blew the air horn. My husband's screaming for it to stay away. Or I don't even remember what he was yelling. He was just screaming. The dog turned around, went back into the darkness of the park. Well, during all of this, as I'm pulling the dogs towards me, I don't realize, but Marley got out of his harness. And if that dog would have kept coming, Marley could have took off. Um, I had no control to keep him by me. So I don't know why then... Why didn't I then go out and buy new harnesses? Um, anyways, so, and then after Magnum getting free and he had that look in his eye like I'm gonna bolt, I went out to PetSmart and in one of my last videos you saw, I think it's the one where I was talking about the seatbelt tethers, I had um, Miggy in the car with me. That's because we went to PetSmart so I could have one of the dogs with me um, to try one on to see how they fit. So. Yeah, so I know a lot of you have asked me about this harness and I've told you guys where to go get it. So some of you may have bought this. I want you to be aware that your dog can escape from this harness. Um, and I've also always kept an extra one on hand because sometimes if your dog likes to pull a lot, this piece, let me get up close to the uh, camera. Um, this piece right here where the harness connects if they pull a lot, because it's connected to, to, you know, their leash is connected to this. So if they're pulling a lot, this tends to rip um, from this material. Because they're not, um, they're not a thick material. So this will tend to rip. So I just want you guys to be aware that your dog can escape and these can um, rip here. So I just, I want that off my conscience because I don't want something to happen to your dog. I may, I may even take down um, my old video, of, I may delete it about this harness. Um, so the one I got was, I was talking to another lady, lady in the aisle because she struck up a conversation um, with me about Miggy because he was with me, <laughs> telling me about that her mom used to have schnauzers. Um, and I was telling her how I was looking for a new harness um, and I wasn't sure, you know, what tight to get they couldn't escape out of and she was telling me she uses this one by Kong let me bring it up close again here like again I'll show you how they fit on the dogs the difference but this is what I got by Kong and this is very well made this should last my dogs the rest of their lives um, it was $27.99 and when I looked on Amazon for a size small in this, they were about the same price. So not too much of a difference like some of the stuff I've um, looked at Amazon or other places for it. And it's been a big difference from PetSmart. So it's about the same price uh, for this harness. And um, it's very well made. And because the piece that goes under their chest and under their front arms can adjust, 
And then there's also a piece that goes over their head and fits kind of like a collar. You can adjust this too. They're not getting out of this. What I really like too is it has this handle up top. So if you've got to help your dog, um, it'd probably be better for um, heavier dogs. If you need to lift your dog up into the car or something, you have this handle here to help heft them up. So yeah, so they have not escaped from this. I've tried it um, when they stopped, I pulled. They're not getting out of this one. <laughs> They're not getting out of this one. So let me get the camera and get one of the dogs and show you the difference of how these fit these two different um harnesses okay guys so let me show you um how these harnesses fit on the dogs and the differences between them um come here Maggie. okay so this one you just take and you grab the front legs you pull them through the holes and then you snap it here and you just velcro right here so if you see, let me turn him a little, how this is fitting, there's nothing going around the neck. It's just on their front arms. So like I said, when the dogs would stop and they'd, and they'd kind of put those legs forward and hunch their self forward, if you were pulling on the leash, this just slides right over the head and off the arms. To where this one, you take the handle part, the part that has the handle on top, so you can help lift your dog in the car if you need to. Loosen up the collar, or the, uh, it's like a collar. You slide it over the head, so the handle is on the back here. This padded part's in front of the chest. You take the straps under the legs and connect them on the sides here. And then you can adjust this part right here. You can adjust that to uh, fit your dog tighter. I mean, not real tight. You still want to be able to fit your fingers underneath of it. And then tighten up the um, collar portion. It's very easy to adjust. Just slide it because you want to um, loosen it to get it off their head when you're done walking them. So, um, and then your leash hooks back here. I don't think Miggy's going to stand up, but your leash hooks back here. And since this is tighter, because even this you can't adjust, you can't adjust this to be tighter right here even. So this is tight. You have the collar portion, which you still want to be able to fit your fingers under. So if they pull and they try to slide, this is tighter. It's not coming off. I've tried it. I've had these for about five days now. And when they stop, I try to pull and they do the little thing and it does not come off. And even if it came off um, the legs, they have this part that's around their head too that they're not getting out of it. So I highly recommend, even if you don't get the Kong brand, to get this style of harness over um, this style that's kind of like a vest. It, it's worth it, guys. You don't want your dog getting loose and something happening. So hopefully this video um, was informative. If you have any other questions, just leave them in the comments. And um, we'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. Say bye, Maggie. Say bye. <laughs> I think he thinks that he's going somewhere. No, we were just demonstrating. You're a good model, though. All right. See you guys later. Bye.